This hands-on activity is focused on cohesion. It allows students to observe and manipulate rain. Now, I personally have used this experiment in grades ranging from pre-K to fifth grade, and the students have really enjoyed and learned from it. This is a very simple and quick experiment, and while we're doing it, the children usually ask to repeat it multiple times. When I'm introducing this experiment, I always provide some sort of background knowledge, such as the example that I have displayed below. Then I have the students explore how the water and eyedropper work together. They also practice putting small and large droplets of water onto a sponge. Once they are confidently and correctly using the eyedropper, I hand out the wax paper and provide them with some rainwater that is dyed with yellow food coloring. The students take their eyedropper and place some of the water onto the paper. Then they take their craft stick and move it around, observing the movements and describing what they see. We repeat this process using blue food coloring this time. I instruct the students to place the blue droplet away from the yellow droplet. Then they can move the droplets closer and closer to each other. When they touch each other, they combine and change colors. The children can then experiment with their large water droplet and try to separate it back into the yellow and blue colors.